it's now welcome back to my channel today i have a bit of a plan with me a journal with me sort of video um the first time i did a journal with me video i asked what people thought about it and a lot of people were quite receptive but i had a couple comments around that they'd also like to see some plan with me so like they still like the plan with me so i thought i would continue to do both in some capacity i'm not really sure yet how that's going to work but so far i've been really enjoying the journal with me and i thought today i would do something a little different so this is the first like first full week of October and I thought I would film myself doing a plan with me but obviously you guys know that when I do a plan with me it's pretty incomplete there's always a lot of gaps so I thought I would film today setting everything up as much as I can and then next weekend because right now we're on the weekend just before at the end of the week I will film a second video where I actually fill the rest out and I can update you guys on how everything went I've not watched any like this I'm sure there's plenty out there but I just haven't seen any so fingers crossed this goes well so the kit we'll be using today is actually a pretty old one it is the mystery kit from scribble prints co from the subscription box probably two three years ago now it was a long time ago I used to be subscribed to their subscription kits I don't know if it's still a thing um, and then I had to stop because I wasn't using the kits fast enough and it, it really does add up so um, let's use this I know it says April because typically in the northern hemisphere April is associated with like spring and everything but in Australia October is actually our spring so weather wise this is perfect and I've actually never opened this before so there's a lot of extras that I didn't know they had so this is like vinyl sticker camera that's very cool few extras here some glitter nail polish stickers um there's a card here i'm where i'm meant to be that's cute um and yeah i'm pretty sure this is formatted for like the erin condren life plan is a couple years ago so when they used to have these flags there's some glitter flags here lots of clip art which i love some icons we have some ombre heart checklists full boxes this is actually a really pretty kit some labels it's actually a pretty full kit lots and lots of pieces to it washi strips activity boxes half box quarter boxes um weekend banner and some checklists what oh there's two of them okay i'm pretty sure this is a mistake you're not supposed to get two in the kit so yeah it must have been a packing mistake okay cool um if the bottom strips date covers and then lots of glitter stickers so yeah there's a lot of stickers here which i'm really happy about so i'm going to do the standard stuff bottom strips and then the top parts with weather and dates and then i'll get back to you and then i'll come back when it's time to do the sidebar And usually I just film over this section as well as in I just film it and then speed it up but I thought I would talk it through a little bit just change it up so these are the full boxes we're working with so I'm gonna go with go live your dreams because I feel like the quote box always sits best here um, trying to line that up okay and I still track the same two habits i'm just trying to make sure i get the right colors in order so if i do exercise so what i'll do put the yellow one first actually i might do this upside down i just find it a lot easier to line stuff up upside down for some reason so i track my vitamin intake and then face masks although i don't know if i should be tracking face masks oops sorry i just kicked the table don't know if i want to keep tracking face masks because i've not been very good with face masks recently i tend to now use them when i feel like my skin needs them whereas before i was trying to use them daily and i probably should still use some of them daily because i do have some packs which are really meant more for daily use um but i've just i don't know why i've not been great on them so then i've got exercise which is really my step count and then you guys know that i used to track my water intake but i don't do that anymore um doesn't seem totally necessary so i'm just trying to think what should i track or what should i note down here um, and sometimes i usually do dinners or spending 
YouTube. I like to mark my YouTube videos here, so I think I'm going to do little things so that it can just kind of be a random list of whatever I feel like. I haven't really decided yet, but I'm sure something will come with me, come to me. And yeah, that fits perfectly right up until the month. Tuesday is when I'm uploading videos, um, so I'm going to put down my videos first, at least the videos I know for sure I'll be uploading. Um, I would like to upload more than I am, but I don't know if I will, so let's go. I'm going to do um, the travel vlog first. So I usually upload my travel vlog on Two Wanderers on Tuesday mornings. I have them scheduled, so I'm not up at 6am uploading, but it does go out at 6am, so I'm going to put that one at the top. And then on Wednesday will be a planner video. So on Wednesday I'm hoping to release the bullet journal, my October bullet journal video. It's not really a spread, I'm just kind of going through and making my weekly views for it, my weekly spreads, um, although they're very simple, so I'm still a bit iffy about that video, but I think I might release it anyways because I just want to, I don't want to get too caught up in making everything too perfect for my channel and I just upload things as they go and then pivot naturally. So Wednesday is that and then um, I usually upload my planner videos on at 8pm on the day, so Melbourne Eastern Standard Time, I guess that's what we'd call it. And then Sunday I upload another planner video, I'll use green here. And that one is going to be my journal with me video, so I just filmed my journal with me video for the previous week. And um, actually, is it here? It would be here, so you guys can see. It's just this one that I filmed just before. That's why I'm doing this one now, because this is really more planned with me since I'm planning in the future. So those are the three videos that I plan to upload next week, or well, yeah. Yeah, next week. It's still Sunday. I also have like goal videos, like stretch goal videos. So like Friday I have a Sailor Moon makeup video which I would love to upload. Don't know if I will get around to it because it really just depends how my week's going and it's not a top priority for me so it may not get uploaded so I might just leave that. Um, actually I just realized I have the weekend banner. I'm going to put the weekend banner down here just because I don't want it to interfere with the spacing up top. And I actually, sometimes I quite like the weekend banner down here. It just looks really cool. So Sunday, Sunday, Saturday, I have my cookies coders meeting. So I think I'll use pink for this one. And I'll just put that down. It's really just more marking it at the moment. Yep. Friday is going to be amazing because I have booked annual leave that day, so I don't have to go to work, which is like the best thing ever. I mean, I like work, but I like not working even more. I was going to put a half box, but I don't want it to be too same same, so I feel like this helps break it up a little bit. So that's Friday. Date night. I just realized there's these other little sheets here to not forget. I have my like little Once More With Love sticker book which I like to actually put a lot of frequently used stickers in here so I don't need to be, I don't need a desk covered with lots of loose stickers even though I still have a desk covered with lots of <laughs> loose stickers. So it's only helped marginally. But I have a, a page for like date night stickers somewhere in here. There it is. So let's put a yellow one down. And usually date night is sushi. So, if I have a sushi sticker, I will put that down. I can't find it. Oh, but this really cute one from Coffee Monster Co. So adorable. So, I'll put that down here. So, that's date night. That makes it look like I'm just eating sushi by myself. I Trust me, it's not, it's not just me. <laughs> My husband, like, Toby eats with me. Um, and then I'll put this to signify our Japanese lesson. Um, actually, there was an icon sheet, wasn't there? So I can actually use these. Silly me. There's no planner, book, sort of. I feel like this kit has so many things, and yet, because if you look for very specific things, you won't be able to find them, which is just typical of any planner kit. There is no planner kit that is perfect unless you make it for yourself, which is the whole reason I actually started making stickers. I think I'll use this little icon here. So that would be for Japanese lessons and actually I'll put a coffee like sticker. I like to put down the coffee stickers at the top of the end of the week and Thursday is essentially my end of week. 
since Friday is going to be an annual leave day and I haven't decided what I'm going to do on Friday yet. It's going to be, uh, I might do some grocery shopping. That's probably not a bad idea actually, just to get the groceries out of the way. It also means that I'll be able to go shopping when there's not a lot of people around, which is always, honestly, it's my preference right now. I'd prefer to go when there's less foot traffic. Grocery sticker in there. Let's put that in. Oh, no, whoops, wrong day. Not Thursday, Friday. I was gonna say, that's a very green looking day so far. And I should probably use tweezers. If I find tweezers, get me better placement. Okay. So that's Friday, Thursday, Wednesday. So I'm just kind of glancing over at my Google Calendar because that's where I plan stuff ahead. So I've got this video, this video, and then that's pretty much all I've solidly got planned. So I guess we'll just carry on with the plan of me as we usually would. So Monday morning is back to work. And there's a coffee sticker just here. I can use that for Monday and I'm trying to dedicate my Mondays to be a lot more about editing videos I will still edit videos throughout the week as you'll see but I try to at least nail down Tuesday Wednesday and Fridays not Fridays Tuesday Wednesday Sundays videos so one travel video two planner videos try to get them edited and uploaded for my channels on Monday night it's gonna be a stretch because it's going to be a stretch actually because this week I have two voiceover videos and I find voiceover videos always take me quite a bit longer to edit, but that's okay. Edit and upload the bullet journal video for October and edit and upload, um, what was it again? <laughs> the channel with me and then also of course edit and upload yeah I'm calling it the Asia 2014 number three 13 actually 13 video I think there's 14 or 15 all up so I'm almost to the end of the series and then we will I think the next one coming up will be Phillip Island but yeah, we're still in 2014 in terms of those videos, so it's still a long way to go. I think those are the only three videos I'm going to try and really get done on Monday. I'm feeling like it won't get done all on Monday, like I will try my best, but I feel like I'm probably going to bleed into Tuesday because of the voiceover. Um, okay, good. I just want to make sure it's dry, so I like just kind of tap it to make sure. And it is dry so I can stick it down. Oh, what else should I do tomorrow? Uh, actually, I'm just looking at my schedule of things I would like to get done. I'm not too stressed out about getting a ton done because I do have Friday. But I would like to do... Um, actually, that might take up most of my evening if I was honest. But yeah, actually, I need to update the camera setting on my Mac. Because... Um, because what happened on Friday, I tried to join a meeting on Slack, um, for my second job and the camera and the microphone totally didn't work, which is so odd because it works for pretty much every other video conferencing platform, but just not that one. And I didn't even think about it. I thought it would work fine because on my day job work laptop, it all works fine. So I need to update that tomorrow and just make sure it is working. So I'm aware I'm able to participate in meetings going forward. Um, and then I want to do a little bit of revision. Um, I need to revise my Japanese verbs. So I don't know if I'll do that tomorrow though. Oh, I need to catch up on my gratitudes. Okay, finish up the gratitudes. Um, it sounds like a weird thing. Um, but so I started my gratitude journal. Probably I'm just trying to air this out so I can stick it down. Um, I probably started my gratitude journal early May. Yeah, early May is when I could feel myself really needing to have something like a gratitude journal. So I started it in May. And then what happened is um, 
you have those first four months which don't have anything written in them. And I'm using a five-year Leuchtturm journal. I actually, I'll show this journal at some point when I walk you guys through the journals I have been actively using this year. So you'll get to see it. But yeah, I had actually started in May. So there's a huge chunk at the start that doesn't have any gratitudes written in. And because I'm weird, I, I want the journal to be the complete. So I want to sort of backdate and write four months worth of gratitude so that all of 2020 has a gratitude in every single day. And then um, when I start next year, it will be complete, if that makes sense. So that's something I want to do. It's going to take a while. I, I'm not good at just sitting here and then writing a bunch of gratitude, but I, I do want to keep working on that. So that's the plan for f Monday. Um, just wear my full boxes. Actually, I might use up this full box so the sheet is free. Finish up that sheet. Put that down. And I actually might go ahead and place my full boxes down for the other days as well. Because why not? Kind of will help me frame up what the days will look like. So, let's first. Um, let's go here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, oh, actually this seems like the appropriate one for the weekend, right? So what I might do is see if I can still peel off this half box. Now, that was the only down, not only, but it was one of the downsides I didn't like about the Whistle and Birch Planner is that it's actually pretty hard to get stickers off, but I feel like glossy stickers are a little bit more forgiving when it comes to this sort of stuff, so lucky. I think if I'd used matte stickers, then I probably would not be able to do that. Yes. Okay. Pretty. And kind of matching and then on Friday I'll put it down here but I have one leftover full box to use so I'm not sure what day I'll put that on yet but I would like to use it up yeah, it's just this one which is really pretty and then I will put this half box back down if it will stick it's all curled up now because I ripped it off we will try yeah we're okay we're okay. Awesome. I have a feeling Tuesday is still going to be an editing day, even though I hope I won't need to edit anything. I just have a feeling I'm still going to be editing videos at that point, so I'm just going to put this half box down in preparation for it. Actually, I realize I still haven't finished off Monday, but I'm not sure what to put down. I'm going to give myself a shorter to-do list on Tuesday um, just because I know I'll probably still be doing videos carrying over from the day before. So let's see how I can... There we go. So then rest of Tuesday, this is actually really hard to kind of work out what I'm going to be doing. I really don't know exactly how my day is going to go and a lot more time has been taken up by my second job but, oh no I think I've just smudged the date a little bit I think we're just going to speed up this next part so you can kind of see me filling out the journal and then I'll be right back
I think that's pretty much all I can do for now without locking myself in too far. I haven't really decided if I'm going to continuously update this during the week or whether I will just come back and update it at the end. I think I'm probably going to try and not update it up there. I think I'm probably going to try not to update this during the week and then come back at the end. I just feel like video wise that would be more satisfying to see. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, so then the next part of this video will be just a few seconds, but it's actually going to be a week. So yes, see you in a week's time. Hey internet, so it's been a whole week since I last sat down and did the spread with you guys. And I haven't actually touched it throughout the week at all because I wanted to do it all on camera. Um, I hope I remember <laughs> what I was doing on Monday. Right now it is Sunday. So yeah, let's let's go through day by day. I've not done this before to be honest. So it might feel a little awkward, but we'll get through it and see how we go. All right, vitamins. Actually, I've been really good with vitamins. I've been taking my vitamins every single day day so i get all ticks for that face masks i don't think i did a face mask at all i will probably do one today though so i'm going to just tick that preemptively because sundays is when i wash my hair i'm going to do some gardening after this video and then i always wash my hair after that um it just feels like it times out perfectly so that's why i'm doing that exercise so that's where i'm going to record my step counts so usually i access this on my phone but ever since September has been over, I've stopped wearing my watch, which is where I was tracking all my steps. So really, my step count now only will get tracked if I'm carrying my phone. And since I work from home and I don't really go out, um, these step counts are going to look really weird. So you'll see like stuff in the hundreds is usually because I've been at home the whole day and I don't tend to carry my phone throughout the entire day when I'm in my house especially. So I know the step count is probably closer to like in the like one to two thousand range because that's what it was when i was wearing my watch but i'm just going to write down what i have on my phone because i don't really have any evidence otherwise wednesday why is wednesday so high i must have left the house for something oh i, I probably dispatched some orders so that's probably why because then i would have carried my phone as i walked to the post office thursday nothing friday so friday i actually took the day off on annual leave and we do our grocery shop, so that's why the step count is a little higher. And then Saturday I stayed at home. And then I won't write down Sunday yet because we're still on Sunday, so I just kind of leave that. So little things. I actually wanted to use this for dinners, but I realized I put down the title little things even though... I'm just trying to see if I can find the kit still. Right here. I just kept the kit at the back so I can reach in if I have to. Um, I think I wanted to record dinners here. I think that would be really good but I have the wrong title, but there is a dinner's title here. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm not sure if this will come out. If it can come off without ripping the page, that would be awesome. Uh, okay, it's, oh, it is ripping a little bit, but that's okay. The paper is pretty okay. And so it's not very thick, but it's not thin either. So it can handle it and I'll replace it with dinners. Oof, I can get this right. There we go. So dinners, um, Monday, some just vegetables and rice, nothing fancy. Um, Tuesday we had fried noodles. Um, Wednesday, I don't even know how to actually spell it because it's a Malaysian dish, but it was basically like a vegetable curry. So I'll just go veg curry instead of trying to get the um, spelling. It, it's called Sai Rode, but I don't know how to actually spell it. There's a lot of dishes growing up I know how to say, I just don't know how to spell them. So Thursday we had Korean, and then Friday we had, I'm just going to put Italian, but you'll later see what it is because we have to cook it. And then yesterday we had some Vietnamese food, and today I think we're going to cook some fried rice. Yes, that's the sidebar done. So now we're on to Monday. So edit, yep, the bullet journal went out. Journal with me, that's what's coming out this evening, but I still haven't actually properly edited. I've cut it. I still need to record the voiceover and then edit it together. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Um, did the Asia vlogs and set up camera. No, I didn't do that. And I'm probably not doing that. Finished my gratitude journal. Did not do that. Didn't have time. 
Wow, I was quite ambitious. Didn't get as much done as I thought I would. Okay, so I have one half box. Um, Monday actually was a really, really sad day because somebody that I really love a lot at work resigned. And it was for good reasons because she is taking her family to Queensland. Basically, she's looking for a lifestyle change. And so she feels like Queensland, at least the weather will always be better. Whereas in Melbourne, I mean, I love Melbourne with all my heart, but I even, I recognize that we have some pretty horrible um, weather as well in terms of like winters are just very cold and you can't do very much. So like half the year, you're basically indoors. Fortunately, I love being indoors, so it's okay for me. But yeah, it really broke my heart when I heard that she had resigned. So it was not a good day. I felt really down the whole time. I think I've only had three people in my entire life that have really touched me to the point where I will cry if they leave and she's the third person. Um, so yeah, it's not as bad as the first time it happened. That first time was probably one of the most life altering moments of my life, but yeah. Uh, anyways, that sounds dramatic. Not a good day. Um, how do I put this down? Yeah, I'm just going to say super sad day. I just don't want to write her name down, um, even though I know she's not watching or anything, but yeah, I just try probably best not to write her name super sad day. Yeah, not a good day. And Tuesday was still not the best because I was basically spending time counseling some of my coworkers. Um, because she obviously had such a big impact on so many of us, so we all really felt it when she resigned. Um, so Monday I woke up, so Tuesday, Tuesday I woke up feeling kind of bleh. Probably not as bad, just, just not very motivated. So I'm going to put down, I like this one. I think this is from, um, I think these are from the same shop, Once More With Love. So woke up feeling meh. And it's such a shock. I think it's crooked. It's such a shock as well. Like, I, I, um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys, um, work in, if you guys work in more of a, like, corporate environment, you usually get these emails and they just, these, uh, meeting invites, especially now that we're working digitally or remotely, and they say, catch up. And you're like, what does that mean? Because catch up can mean anything. Catch up sometimes is an announcement that we've got, like, a new GM starting. Catch up can also mean, someone is resigning often it does mean someone's resigning so but they don't say that in the meeting invite so you're kind of left to wonder what does this mean and who's leaving and it's just very yeah I hate those sort of meeting invites because you are left for like at least three five hours of just waiting to see what the announcement is anyways enough talking about sad stuff let's just focus on some of the productive stuff so I was actually really productive with the travel channel I knocked out a ton of videos um, I think I'm about a month ahead now which I'm really happy for um, but I want to try and knock all of it out as soon as possible so that I can just focus on December's whole schedule because I've got a whole hopefully plan of videos for December, which I will talk about. I'm not sure if I've talked about it here, but I've talked about it on my vlog channel, which I actually don't think I've uploaded those vlogs either. So go me. But okay, I'm not sure why I decided to cross and then an ampersand, but um, I finished all the Asia vlogs and then I started uploading some Phillip Island vlogs and I've got three Phillip Island vlogs that I managed to edit and upload. And I use the edit term very loosely because they're actually already on my vlog channel. I just had to rebrand them for Two Wonders. So it was pretty easy, but luckily it's padded out my time. Um, still one more. I don't have enough space to do it, but I think I did it on this day. So I'll do it on Wednesday. All right, so I did actually do quite a bit of YouTube work. YouTube took up a lot of time. Why is it crooked? Sorry, I just noticed on camera it's crooked. I should probably just use tweezers. I'm just lazy, that's all. Um, yeah, I did quite a bit of YouTube work over these three days because every time I do voiceover, it actually is t quite time consuming. So even though it says on Monday that I've edited and uploaded, I actually kind of did that over the course of three days. So I'm just going to do YouTube work. I'm going to put this one here because I packed some orders on Tuesday because I got them dispatched on Wednesday. But I did do some printing and cutting so let me just find the right I just love having this little book here now this one from once more with love it's just a sticker book but I can put all sorts of little bits of stickers here and um, 
it's just so handy to not have to keep reaching into my massive folder of doom. So I did some printing and cutting and then I did complete some orders. Cool. So that was Tuesday. Now we're on to Wednesday where I did do my Japanese homework. Yay me. <laughs> um, kind of mandatory. And I did do some more YouTube work, but I think I might want to, I might put it here. I'm just trying to alternate where the icons sit so they don't look too same same. So some YouTube work. And I did do a little bit of blogging research. And I'm not really sure what to put down as blogging because literally everything is on the laptop right now, but I don't want my whole spread to just be laptops the whole way through. So because blogging is a little bit more related to writing, I'll just put a book down for that. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how to get a good blogging schedule going and just things to include in different blog posts. This little icon down for like dispatch orders. And something really interesting happened to me on Wednesday in that I was actually going through some old vlogs because I'm trying to just, I've got a, quite a few Once Upon a December vlogs on my main channel, but I'm trying to do all my vlogs on my vlog channel. So I'm trying to work out if there's a way to transfer them, which I don't think there is. I don't think there's a way to transfer them, which is really annoying because I'm really all about the organization of videos. Um, but I actually started watching some vlogs of myself from three, four years ago. And what was really strange is that I feel like I'm almost the same person. Like, I know I've changed, I know I've progressed, but there's some elements of me that still feel really much the same. And that kind of shocked me and scared me at the same time because I felt like I'm not progressing the way I thought I was. I was still complaining about the same things that I complain about now. I still was getting um, excited and I was still talking about things I wanted to do that I am still talking about now, which is the scariest thing because it's like nothing has progressed and I think that's one of my fears. So it was very eye-opening, let me tell you. And in a way, that's part of why I'm really glad that I do vlog. Um, because it allows me to actually visually see have I progressed and in that sense, in that same goal setting manner, not much, which is very scary. So, um, yeah, I had a moment of, oh my gosh, I really need to change. It was that evening, oh my gosh. And yeah, I do tend to try and I'm going to try a few things, which I'm not going to talk about because I don't want to, as I, so yeah, I'm gonna try a few things, see how I go. You may start to notice a few changes come through on the planner channel, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But if you guys do any vlogging, that's definitely a big, major, positive component that you actually get to see yourself and see if you've changed. Whereas I feel like if I wasn't vlogging, I could have easily just forgotten and just keep going and I could just still be on the same path for 10 years and not realize that I've been the same the whole time. Anyways, enough rambling, let's move on to Thursday. So, Thursday, um, I know we started watching Thor 2. We haven't actually finished it yet. I'm just going through all the Avenger movies at the moment. I love playing them on the side. They're like the perfect videos to play on the side. It's also was my last day of work, but it was such a busy, busy meeting day. Uh-oh. The downside about this particular book is that sometimes the stickers just peel up on themselves and then um, they just fly all over the place so you've just got to be a bit mindful about that um, but yeah it was a very heavy meeting day so I'll put this down the sticker was from Violet LeBeau the shop's not around anymore oops I just moved hit the camera her shop's not around anymore but I still have so many of her stickers and the source is my best friend, so I guess I could just ask her for the files if I did want to make more. But I still have quite a few of her stickers. I did a little bit more blogging work here. Yeah, it's more blogging. But the day was really, um, I had my Japanese lesson in the evening and then just relaxing to date night movie. Although every time I watch movies, I'm always usually editing videos or doing something like 
Tobias and I are not very good at just sitting and watching a movie because I think we get bored very quickly so we always want to have something on the side that we're doing. So that was Thursday and then finally Friday which was our full day off it was so nice like I wish I could just work four days a week and then have three days off to work on my own things because it is it just feels less um how do you say stressful and it feels less rushed so I can like take my time like we went grocery shopping in the morning and it was so much better grocery shopping when there's less people around I had so much fun as weird as that sounds, like I just literally said grocery shopping is a lot of fun. I would have never said that a year ago, but we are in different times and grocery shopping is now one of my like outings. <laughs> so actually I did do a lot of work on the second job, mostly in the afternoon. So I'm just going to use this last stick I have from the Coffee Monster Co. This one, I've been using this one a lot to represent work for the second job. So. I'll just sit, work on second job. I really need to spend a bit more time on it because I feel like it takes me a little while to get into the groove and then by the time a couple hours have passed, it's like, okay, time to stop. And I'm like, I didn't have enough time, but it's the nature of it. In terms of to do's, um, let me go. So, did end up edit and upload the Philip Island vlog three and four. They're basically the same video. And it was really nice to watch those videos again. I really miss when we used to travel together. Um, I actually need to cut the journal with me, which I actually did that. I think I did that on Saturday, but I'll put it here because I don't have a to-do list on Saturday to finish my grocery list in order to go grocery shopping finish list yeah, and then we have to do we updated some of the designs update designs for our house and we had to send them back to the renovators I'm really lucky that Tobias is really into a lot of 3D modeling, which you'll see on his channel. He does them for videos so we can do them for pictures as well. So we can like model out um, what we want the house to look like um, in terms of renovations. So it makes it a lot easier to communicate it back to the renovators. I feel like you couldn't visually show someone what you wanted and you had to describe them in words. It can be a little challenging. So very grateful for that. And yeah, hopefully those will come along. Just, just cannot wait. <laughs> All right, so that was Friday. And then Saturday was yesterday. It was a big cookie coders day. Cookie coders being my little coding group, coding friends. I don't know how else to really describe it. I will put teleconferencing. I'll put this because I feel like this is appropriate. But yeah, we are currently building a application. And right now I'm working on a lot of the social media content, which actually meant I had to take a bunch of photos. So I'm gonna put this here. I had to get Tobias to help me because he's much better at um, taking photos than I am. Photography, he's got a really good eye for it. I wish I was more like inclined. Oh, you know what I forgot to put on Friday? Cooking dinner, because we actually did cook dinner um, on Friday. Like we did a big batch cooking and usually we do it on Saturday, but because of the cookie coders, we had to flip it. So it's not actually on Friday. I really wanted to add that in because I thought those are like, I mean, it takes like a good five hours of my day. So it's a pretty big thing. What I might do, because actually Friday wouldn't have the space anyways, I'm going to put this crock pot. This is from Sweet Kawaii Designs. I'm going to put this here. Cook dinner, but I'll put an arrow pointing back. <laughs> So we ended up cooking, this is the thing that we talked about, The like this is the dinner I said Italian. So we cooked um, chicken parma, but we did it from scratch, which was so much fun, but really messy. And ratatouille. I've always wanted to try ratatouille, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to spell it. Give me two seconds to look it up. I'm not going to fit it in, am I? Yep. There we go, ratatouille. So we cooked that for dinner and it was such a nice experience. Um, not the biggest fan of ratatouille, but maybe it was the particular one that I made that wasn't as good as I thought it would be. As in, I felt like it could use a lot more flavor, even though I basically put like 
one entire cup of herbs in there, but maybe more salt. But otherwise, it was a really healthy dish. I will say that. So that helped balance the deep friedness of the parma. So Saturday, and then now we are on to Sunday. So I have to film this part of the like second journal with me, which is what I'm doing now. And I'm going to be filming a video for December. So one of the goals I have for December is to upload. So I upload every day in terms of my vlog channel, but I want to increase the frequency on my planner channel for December. I think it's just kind of a nice challenge to set myself. So I'm not going to actually say what video it is, otherwise it kind of spoils it. But basically that's what I'm going to do after this because um, I'm going to still be working full time in December. I'm not going to have a lot of time off work. So I need to make sure that the videos are kind of pre-filmed and pre-edited so I can just upload them. There's going to be some videos that I won't be able to control. I'm going to have to edit and upload them in the month themselves because they're more time sensitive, such as like journals with me are very time sensitive. But um, there's definitely some videos I can do ahead of time to just kind of buffer that out for myself. So that's the plan for YouTube. Um, I think I'm only going to do two videos. I don't think I'll do a third. I can't think of a third video I could do. But I'll just leave it blank in case something comes up. So film, edit, upload. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just general videos, right? <laughs> I'm just going to say YouTube work. Because it's kind of um, already mentioned up here. So... We're going to do some gardening. Pretty much after this, we're going to go into the garden and do some repotting because some of our sprouts are now sprouting and they need to be transferred into bigger pots. And actually, my cats need to get their worm treatment as well. So I'm going to put that down there. Um, every month to six weeks, I will give them some medication to make sure that they don't get fleas. So I need to make sure I give them that. And I can't see anything here that's really gardening appropriate. So I might just use a heart to represent. Although that's so big. I wonder if I have like a gardening sticker. Oh, actually. This is not much smaller, but I feel like it's more appropriate. So I might just put it here. Um, I'm just going to go cat meds because I don't actually know the name of the medication I give them and oh yeah and then I have to work on orders I have to have to because I'm delayed for some of the orders so um, I'm just going to do complete orders because after I film the videos and do gardening take my shower I have to then spend the evening doing orders and that is pretty much going to be my Sunday I'm not going to have much time to do much else I can do the weather today. Today is a cloudy day, unfortunately, and I think it's going to rain later, which is not ideal. So I'm just going to put down this weather sticker. And that is pretty much it. So let's just see what everything looks like now. Yeah, that's pretty much the entire spread now completely filled out. So yeah, I don't know how this video went. Hopefully it went well. I would guess I'll see it in post when I get to put everything together. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer solid just plan with me's? Do you prefer just journal with me's? Or do you prefer the plan with me plus journal with me where I retrospectively go back on the plan with me? I'm just trying different things. If there's like a different format you can think of, let me know because I am keen to try it. And then just kind of see what sticks and what people like. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet. Mm -hmm.